Hey everyone, Walsh here from Thinline Defense, and I got a brand new release from Agilite for you. Today we'll be taking a look at the all new Agilite laptop carrier. And you're gonna wanna see some of the tricks this thing has up its sleeve to do some actual real gray man stuff. <laughs> all right, let's go. Now, I'm really, really excited to bring you this video on the same day as the product release, but I do wanna say it's really amazing what this laptop carrier can do, but also kind of sad that, yeah, we need it. Before we get too far into the weeds on that, though, I wanna say thanks to our friends over at Agilite for sending us this life-saving bit of gear to check out. We've always felt like family with the Agilite guys, and the TLD team always looks forward to more opportunities to see our brothers on the other side of the world. And beyond having good gear, I love Agilite because they're just such good people. How do, I, how do I do gang signs? Here we go. Lev group for life. So going back, what makes this laptop bag so special to the point that I want to show it to you? Well, <laughs> besides that it just came out today. So what's so interesting about this laptop carrier is that it was actually designed for covert protection services. So then those professionals could blend in with the regular civilians, but then have the defensive and offensive capability to neutralize a terrorist threat. And during my travels, I actually got to visit Israel like ages and ages ago. And when I went through, there were like these huge concrete slabs with these like gorgeous murals on them, but they were right in front of the schools. So I actually asked our guide what they were there for, like if the kids like, like to draw on it or something. And yeah, I wish it was. I still remember to this day, he told me, no, it's so truck runners couldn't run into the school and so snipers couldn't shoot at the kids while they're sitting in class. That's the level that they're dealing with over there. A culture that not just has to deal with the mental health crisis that we have in America that nobody seems to want to talk about, but then also an entire society of people that live alongside you that want to erase you from the earth. So the folks in Israel bind together by making every unit of their society an active member in defending it. Every member serves in the military and it's a requirement for every citizen to serve. And I met some of the nicest people on that trip to the other side of the world. And what was so weird was that no one was like a big wet sock about seeing a big scary gun because yeah, it was just the norm. And parts of their society like working together as a single unit to preserve what we care for is something we as Americans could do a lot better at. And I mentioned it earlier, but it's kind of sad that we as Americans need this product I'm gonna show you, but we do. From schools to jobs, hell, the post office, you don't know where you're gonna be when you encounter someone with a mental breakdown that wants to hurt you and you may not have any defensive or offensive capabilities. And what's awesome is the Agilite laptop carrier can be used purely defensively to get you out of a situation. Or it can be used to turn you into that covert variable the terrorist nutbag just wasn't expecting. And I'll show you, yes, it's pretty awesome. So today we'll go over the bag in detail, test the use of the bag in a passive role as just a regular schmegular laptop bag, then test the use of the Agilite messenger bag in an active role from a defensive application. Then outfit the laptop bag with some added goodies to show a more active role it allows you to play. And then we'll do some pros and cons like normal at the end. But tell you what, let's go ahead and get started and let's look at the bag up close. Looking first at the laptop carrier, we see it comes in a very generous size to fit a lot of larger laptops while also having a thin and sleek profile. The dimensions of the carrier are approximately 17 inches high, 12 inches wide, and two inches in height. And I'll show you my big ass editing laptop fitting in there later on. And I have the one in Ranger Green, but they also come in black and urban gray. Ooh, that urban gray. Looking at the top of the bag, we see this covert cover over the top, but behind here is a two row molly section with hook and loop. Due to the molly row height, you could easily affix mags or tool pouches but you can throw away anything covert if you decide to do that, along with your 5'11 pants on your <laughs> I take Glock mag shirt. No, Rocky S2Vs are not covert. <laughs> back at the back, we have this large side zippered pouch that can be used to hold mice and power bricks and all that. There is also a side zippered area that can be opened up to hold additional items. 
And this may seem odd until you move it into its wear configuration, and then you realize you can access pistol and rifle mags from this configuration. I'll show you, but I just wanted to give you some context as to why that one pouch is sideways like that. Moving to the inside, you can see a pretty nice just laptop bag. We first start on the outer edge, and here is a large sleeve for papers and whatnots. And then we shift over and see a nice padded sleeve area to hold your laptop, along with this attaching tab to keep it held in place. As we then go back one more level, we see where this laptop carrier really starts to transform with this area built in to house 3A soft armor with this AMAP3 armor insert. And I bet you could put some higher threat plates inside the actual laptop carrier, but the lightweight nature and flexibility makes this armor insert perfect for this application. And along with the actual laptop bag, I'll also put links to the armor inserts down in the description below. To install the 3A inserts, just slide in one side and then give them a slight bend as you rotate and slip in the other side of the armor insert. It's not that hard, but I really would have liked to see that insert be a little bit larger for those folks that want to put in larger plates into that section. I mean, you can always use a knife, but I still have keyboard warriors crying to me about cutting a thing too. Going back to the outside, the entire edge of the bag is also padded, so larger items stay safe and secure, even if they don't fit within the padded sleeve. Along the top are two D-rings that can be used to attach the shoulder strap, and there is also a regular carry handle. Now, the shoulder straps is how all the magic works, so don't remove it until I show you everything. The strap is also where you make the proper size adjustments so it fits you in the shouldered and chest mounted configurations. So what you'll do is you'll get it to the correct length for the chest mounted configuration that I'm gonna show you in just a minute. And then you can actually cinch up all the extra slack so then it'll ride correctly when you wear it in like a regular laptop bag configuration. Also on the back is a large Velcro strap for what I assume is to allow you to use this as a shield in the unshouldered configuration. I don't know if that's right, but I'm loving this idea. So I actually talked to Agilite. It's, it's not for hand shields. It's so you can attach it to your luggage, like the luggage handle. So yeah, not nearly as exciting. And the last thing we have on our bag is our latch on the other side to turn the bag into an active defense platform or offensive. But let me see if it works as just a regular schmegular laptop bag first. I have a stupidly large laptop, and I use this MSI 17 inch for all my video editing. The bag was a bit too small to use the padded sleeve area, but I was still able to easily fit my large laptop inside with the armor insert in the rear. And bags that actually fit a 17 inch laptop are actually pretty rare because most people wanna use the thinnest and slowest half eaten fruit brand. So this carrier fits computers that are designed for grown-ups and actually carries them very well. I also did a test to see if I could fit my brick and a half power supply along with an extra mouse, and I found the bag had plenty of room. The whole setup could be cinched up easily to make for a comfortable carry in a business configuration. I don't know, it doesn't look like ultra tactical, just, just maybe so-so. <laughs> All right, then let's show you how you can actually deploy this and use it in a defensive situation. I gotta get rid of this chest rig though. So if you have this over your head in a normal configuration, just on your way to get a pumpkin latte, and suddenly you hear an insane person up ahead yelling at other people. Hey, listen to me. I'm talking to you. Chest rigs are really, really good. And you say to yourself, oh my God, this guy is from the internet and he's fucking crazy. You can get into a defensive position by moving the strap to the single shoulder and then pulling on the quick release to open up all the slack. Reach behind you to grab the slack while rotating the laptop bag to the front so the bag is now facing upward. Push down the locking tab and lock in the shoulder strap on the other side. Now you've got a 3A armor protection all over your vital organs. And then that terrorist can no longer hurt you with his stupid words or a weapon if he has one. And I think this is the scenario that most people will find themselves in. A student in a college, an executive, or just a guy taking a break at the office. You have a means and a way of protecting yourself from a terrorist who wants to take away your way of life. And there's nothing wrong at all with a defensive posture. But if there's no way of escape without confrontation with the threat, then the setup can also be weaponized with some offensive capabilities. As shown earlier, you have the ability to fill the inside of the side pouch with pistol or rifle mags. 
In the same scenario, then once you've donned the laptop bag, you can also open the front flap and fold down to have access to additional magazines if you had to draw your concealed carry to defend yourself or others. So if you couldn't escape the situation and had to defend your life, you not only have some added protection, but then have some additional offensive capabilities. Like I said, I like it. All right, so that's some scenarios, but let's go ahead and do some pros and cons. And the first pro is it works really well as just a laptop bag. With the ability to hold grown-up sized electronics without an issue, the Agilite laptop carrier functions extremely well to just carry an actual laptop. The entire bag stands on its own without even considering the defensive capabilities. And in a world where so many laptop bags are just horrible, this is pretty amazing. All right, so for the next pro, it's actually pretty covert. With this slim and sleek design, along with the low profile plates, it would take a trained eye to recognize that the owner is doubling their laptop bag as a plate carrier and offensive platform. I mean, just don't put a bunch of Punisher skull patches on it and you may be all right. All right, for the next pro, this bag can transform to give you different defensive and offensive options. With the ability to change into a platform with level 3A protection so easily, this is the type of gear that gives folks the added edge to survive dangerous situations, while also offering the expansion of offensive capabilities to make terrorists think twice. So if you see me carrying this, you better rethink telling me about your favorite chest rig. <laughs> All right, so cons. I, I, I need some cons. I, uh, I, I mean, I guess I wish the ends of the covert tab were horizontal to match the K19. This would allow the user to integrate the pincer placard and have it connected into the top of the laptop carrier. Really though, I, I think it would actually still work and connect in here, so it's technically a pro. I, I just don't have anything I really dislike. I guess I wish the adjustment strap would be held in place easier, but I'm pretty convinced I'm just doing it wrong. Overall, I really like what's been done here, and I highly recommend it to protect you from what I'll call the mental health crisis in America, <laughs> even if nobody wants to talk about it. But I'll put links to this bag down in the description, and it's actually on sale on the Agilite website right now if you wanna go grab one. So I hope this video on the Agilite laptop carrier bag was useful in your purchasing decisions. And I wanna say thanks to all of our Patreon supporters and our YouTube Live members. You guys give us so much support and come out to all of our lives and make all this cool stuff so much fun. So, so much love to you and thank you. And I wanna say thanks to everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below what you think about this lap. We're trying that again. Comment down below what you think about this Agilite laptop carry bag. All right, everyone, full show. Back. What makes this laptop bag, this laptop bag, yeah, laptop bag. Hey, hey you, hey you out there. Let me tell you about chest rigs. Hey, where you going? Hey, where you going?